Let's do this. Fucking, you're just such a gosh. cock. Welcome back Welcome to back Thomas, Thomas was, alone. was Alone. Stop repeating me. I gotta get this thing. Look, I got the thing. Yeah, oh, I guess you get an achievement. I don't know. I didn't die. You did not die. <laughs> but I guess uh, we get an achievement every time we find, find one. So one, I, I, yeah. I think that they're relatively rare. Probably. It almost might be one or two per act. I could be wrong. Sure. No, no, no. This is interesting, though. It's a very... Very different change of pace. Oh, oh ah, no! Chris ah, got stolen ah, by ah, the blackness. No, but I was there. The darkness was, got are, him. Is this like? Is this act just where everyone dies? Hadn't abandoned Laura all that time ago. <gasps> it began to dawn on her that she might not be the tragic victim she'd always assumed. Oh, that's interesting. So maybe all her other friends got, got eaten. eaten. Maybe and Laura she didn't realize? is the problem. Oh man, that would actually be weird, but it would be interesting. <laughs> okay, like so a nice Shyamalan twist. I'd be like, yeah, I'll be the nice one. Laura is the. Oh, I can't go to the right. Interesting. Oh, yeah, zoom invisible in wall. I can't go to the left. Don't see invisible walls often. I'll show you my invisible wall. Dude, <laughs> it's getting hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> this has been our joke behind the camera this whole time. Yeah, right? Is it getting, is it getting oh, hot I here? think I know what I need to do. Okay, watch Probably this. Watch better. this. Dude, fucking... I know, right? Now check this shit out. That staircase is there for a reason. Ah. Yeah, boy. Dude, I'm a pro puzzle solver. Ah, uh, you're a solver. This is why... <laughs> this is why I'm gonna miss that button. There is something up here. Yeah, oh, that's where John it's where, goes. It's where John boy goes. John? 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 Oh, it goes down. John. Oh, look at that. Okay, look so I need to get her up there. Get off of me, Laura. Laura. Larry. Ooh, Laura. Ooh. Our game design conversation has quickly degenerated throughout the episodes. <laughs> I apologize, <laughs> really folks. Has. Don't apologize. Get, get your pompous face out of my butt. Whoa, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, but no, seriously, while we're on the subject of not talking about game design, let's talk game design. Oh, man. Um, so Chris and I have been talking a lot about how the, um, well, we've been talking a lot off camera about what characters we really like and what characters we really don't like, and we're wondering if color really plays into it, right? Like, if you see, like, Claire is a is this nice, like, deep blue, and I think Chris, you've already talked about how it kind of gives, like, a depressing kind of vibe. Yes. Um, but then you look at Laura. Laura's pink. She's not actually red. She is. She is a pink. Yeah, and that's interesting. I think, actually, I think for that, like pink, I feel like if I'm just totally making the color in my head, pink is very sweet. I, I think that's. That, um, I, I would agree. Yes. No, I'm a little because, confused about. Like, well, red is usually associated with like passion, right? Right. Or, like powerful feelings, either anger or love. Yeah. Um, and pink is sort of like the damped down version of it, so that's why I think it kind of does feel sweet. Sweet. You know, it's just like it's. It's not as potent. And it certainly doesn't feel angry. No, it it's... doesn't feel angry. And this where it gets kind of weird because John, I don't know if like I guess gold kind of makes sense for John, um, since like you know. He's like the pro at everything, so gold would be like, yeah, you achieve like higher than everyone else. He's uh, he um, goes for the gold. Yeah. Now, what, where I get a little lost is like Chris has that more like brownish goldenrod-y feel to him, a like brownish green, and what I think it helps kind of show ah, that he's oh my god, ah, oh ah, why ah. is that happening? She oh, had it's to, a post. She's supposed she to. She had to die. That's interesting. She had to die. She had to die. How weird! I I don't understand why they didn't talk about it though. <laughs> yeah, they're not like, oh, Laura got smashed in the pieces. I sucks to suck, I guess. Do they know that they well, die? Wouldn't you think that? Would you? I don't... No, no, but that's a real that's a real yeah. question. Like, true. They talk about everything else that happens to them, but they never mention them dying. Mm, maybe it's like you I die in the game, you die in real life. That's not true at all. Oh, wait. Was this button there before? No. Okay, so it was on the back of the uh, thing that killed her. Ah! Dang it. You weren't supposed to do it that time. Oh, but I can do this! Check that shit out. Watch. He doesn't have to die. Only Laura has to die. 
The one that no, was meant you, to No, but you're still gonna need... What do I need? You're gonna need John back so you can get Laura up there. You're right. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're going, you're like, all right, I'm doing it, man. I'm, I'm getting it, there. Guys, I'm you're like, oh, it. no, I'm not doing it. So... So then, going going back to the color conversation. Yes, but, so, but, so, so then Chris got that kind of that brownish, greenish, yellow mix, right? Which I think is good for him because he's supposed to, you know, he's like the, the kind of envious one. Yeah, I almost wonder why they didn't make him more green in that you sense. You know, I think giving him the muddied color just kind of makes you feel like there's something off about Chris. Maybe, and maybe it's because Chris isn't just envy. Maybe it's because he's more complicated than that. Yes, and you've been seeing that, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, because he's, he's, he's starting to have feelings for, like, other blocks. That's true. Ed, that's actually a pretty good point. Yeah. The other consideration, too, is, um, we haven't talked about the background art at all, but other characters pop out more, more. against the background. Yes. And Chris doesn't always. Well, the one that pops out the least is actually... Claire. Claire. Um, so that, I think it's interesting because this, are they trying to say that Claire is actually more integrated with the world than, than, mm, than the other characters? Else. It's possible because she's the one that can float in on things that other people can't, you know? She right. Can, she can interact with, with the world in ways that others can't exactly. Um, Laura had been the bait. She had a hunch that she wasn't needed anymore. Oh no, Laura, you're always needed. Oh, Laura. I need you. Um, uh, this will be. Okay, then you jump with. Can you can you jump and while you're in mid jump, can you switch? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is not working out according to plan. I don't think Laura's supposed to be there. I mean, I don't think um, Claire is supposed to be. There. I think it's supposed to be for John to go up and well, then. Here's, oh, hit that there's button. a button. A button. A button. A button. It's a button. Oh, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Let's check this out. Oh, well, I guess John's not going to be able to fit through there, but whatever. We'll, we'll, oh, wait. I can't jump with them. Never mind. I was like, I'm not. I'm not. I don't know. I'm checking out here, Chris. I'm not I checking out. I was being clever. And now, the I one character not. that doesn't really fit, I feel like, this color is Thomas. Because Thomas is very just red. He's red. And, like, you know, red's about passion, but. I don't know if Thomas is particularly passionate. I don't know, but maybe he is. Because maybe he is, yeah. All he wants are friends, right? Like, Or just not to be alone. To not be alone. Yeah, I guess... I mean, the theme of the game, according to Mike Bethel, is friends. It's so friends, I, and, yes. And honestly, looking at the game through that lens, it makes a lot it of sense. It does make absolutely a lot of sense. Um... Yeah, I don't know. The, the color... Laura got stolen. No! no! Yeah, I guess that's the point of this act, is that everyone's getting eaten. So I guess by the end of this act, we'll at least... John looked at Claire. It was just them now. She muttered something under her breath about a vow of vengeance. <laughs> he didn't see the point. Fighting that thing uh, a pretty futile idea. I don't know why you're having strugs here, John. Are you, you're like... I think I need to restart the level. I'm gonna restart. Yes, yeah, this, this I think John was supposed to behave like that. looked at Claire. It was just them now. I will say this act is interesting because not only were they changing around game mechanics, but uh, he didn't see the point. They also um are removing characters slowly. Yeah. From the equation, which introduces a whole another sleuth sleuth slew slew. Thank you. I never get that right for some it's okay, reason. Okay, man. It introduces a whole s new slew of uh, problems for us. So I think it's a creative way to kind of keep the game interesting. Yeah, no, it really is. And like, I like how they're kind of like doing different... Like, I feel like the puzzles are changing. Yes. It's such a fun way. They're, it's interesting too that they're doing this like timing thing yeah. right now where it's like, all right, what do I do? Got to wait for the button to appear. <laughs> I'm not, I'm on. I'm gonna get that that button. I'm gonna get that button. I'm going to get this. I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna push it. <laughs> I'm gonna push it. Yeah. I'd laugh if you fell in the water and just died. Well, you know, these things they so do. So who is gonna go next? I'm saying John's going next. Oh, absolutely. Watch this. It's gonna be Laura by herself, and then she, she's gonna follow her vow of vengeance. Oh! Don't oh! What? Uh. Uh, 
Got it. <laughs> so weird. Why does it zoom in like Oh, uh, Well, I know that it zooms in when you die to show you who died and why you failed. <laughs> why you failed. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, I fucked it. Uh, come on, Laura. And this, oh, this is definitely a change of pace. Oh, boy. I gotta hurry. Go, 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 go. That's not fair. That's a little oh! Oh! Oh, it's because if any one of them dies, then uh, then that means we have to restart the level. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's interesting. No, I, I'm tired. That, that, that's interesting. But what you just did there was really cool. Oh, yeah, I think that was how I should have been yeah, doing it. Yeah, it was just awesome. Um, something else that's interesting that we haven't really seen yeah. is that... You see how when uh, Claire jumps in water, how she kind of like dips down a little bit? Oh, boy. Gotta hurry. Gotta hurry. Oh. Um, I feel like the timing changed. <clears throat> Maybe. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <sighs> there we go. So, uh, the only one that doesn't get killed when Laura's bouncing in the water like that is actually John, because he's the only one tall enough to not actually become not submerged. Actually become submerged. Yeah, that's a good point. It's interesting. So, I think this pairing right now actually yeah. makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and it's utilized in this level very well, because now everything has to be timed well. Keep on moving. Keep on swimming. Keep on swimming. Keep come on, on swimming. come on, Claire and John. Yeah, Claire and John. Come on. Yeah, Claire. Oh, yeah. oh, dude, it's not gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Later, Claire. Nope. <laughs> because she's a boned Claire. Dude, I don't need her. <laughs> oh shit. You kind of actually do, buddy. You don't know me. Don't you don't know me. Oh, me. Well, let's go ahead. We'll, we'll give a shot to this uh, this level. And the next episode. All right. Question of the day. I want to ask what you guys think about the uh, reduction of characters. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe, do you think, in terms of level design, do you think that they could he could be doing more? Um, or do you think that, uh, yeah. you know, dedicating every, like, one or two levels to removing another character actually works really well? Yeah. That's what you thought. Yeah. So we'll see you next time on the Gid Pig. The Gid Pig. The Gid Pig. Uh, until then, vote on if you want to see more yes. of Thomas Was Alone. We are nearing the end of this session's recording, so... Yeah, so please, please, please vote, because we will keep playing this for sure. Yes. And right. vote on anything else you'd like to see. We'll play please. those two. Because we like to play games that you guys like to we'll play. We'll play everything that you guys want us to play. Didn't have to make it sensual. I wasn't. You, you took it there. I know. Goodbye, folks! Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>